26 September 1942. Spartanovka. We took this stinking village three weeks ago, men, but our supporting units haven't managed to clear the Bolsheviks completely from the area. The enemy grouping by the river has actually broken out and is pushing this way. We only have minutes to get organized. We don't have the time to set up defense right through the village. But we're going to pull back and let the Bolsheviks come to us. That will buy us a few minutes to get the machine guns in place. Get a defensive line set up in the old church. It is a solid building with good fields of fire through the housing blocks to the town hall where the Russians will be attacking from. I want men on the machine guns. Cut the reds down before they get close if you can. If you dig in, you should be able to hold the church. If they break into the church, either push them out or if all else fails, pull back to the gullies behind. We must not retreat any further than that. This Russian attack stops here. Get to your positions. Los! Bolshevik scum! 
Again, we have crushed our enemies. Stalingrad is no longer a city. By day, it is a cloud of burning, blinding smoke. It is a vast furnace, lit by the reflection of the flames. When night arrives, one of those scorching, howling, bleeding nights, the dogs plunge into the Volga and swim desperately to the other bank. The Knights of Stalingrad are a terror for them. Animals flee this hell. The hardest stones cannot bear it for long. Only men endure. From the diary of an unknown German soldier.